SoCal Retro Gaming Expo What's up you guys not ready right here so you guys seen a little bit of footage there from the event which was a great event a way bigger event but if you go any further if you guys do me a big favor subscribe like and comment and then rock my phone for the notification so um i'm gonna show you guys what i did i ended up picking up it's not it's not much but um uh, i'm gonna show you guys um so for saturday the saturday event part of the event all I picked up is two uh, two Famicom games. Um, okay, the first one is um, something that uh, right off the bat um, on the on the label here gave me the first impression that it was the Mario Brothers, not the Super Mario Brothers, but Mario Brothers uh, for the NES. But uh, when I look further into it, it's uh, actually wrecking crew which is a really good game for five bucks i just thought it, i thought it was okay for that price and then the second one is um something that i was i didn't even know was on the um on the uh any and the nes or or nintendo i really thought this is like a total um sega exclusive like genesis or whatever but um when I seen it, I grabbed it away, which was 10 bucks. I don't know if it was a good deal. Uh, Fantasy Zone 2 for the Famicom. And that's all I picked up for, for um, that, um, that Saturday. And then when I came back the um, on Sunday, um, actually on Saturday, I have been eyeballing this this particular game, which is not even, it's not a retro game. Uh, so on Sunday, that I just went and picked it up and I paid uh, the $35 for it. Um, and it's, um, it's a new release. It's a recent release, I guess, which is Double Dragon 4 from Limited Run, which I, somebody had it there for $35, brand new sealed. Um, I actually wanted this, uh, when it first announced it, but I just kind of slept on it. This I kind of... Don't really maintain my attention to limited run anymore. It's just too many games to try to keep up with. Um, there's some once in a while I'll you know maybe I don't know maybe once a month I'll go in there see what's going on, and if something catches my my eye maybe I'll pick it up. But I, I really try not to to um, dedicate myself too much to limited limited run. It's just too many games to keep up with. And then um, uh, oh I picked up from from um pat pat the nes punk i picked up one manual which uh he he was uh, he only wanted three bucks for it which is uh street fighter alpha 3 uh dreamcast just a manual for three bucks which i didn't think was too bad and then the final pickup which was probably the best pickup from the event based on what i pick i did pick up since i didn't pick up much and that was from the, um, the homie Tony over there at uh, Toys vs. Games. So he hooked me up. Um, these two items. So, um, the first one was um, a manual. Not a manual. 
uh, a guide, a player's guide, a game guide, a game guide, uh, which is uh, Capcom, Capcom versus SNK for the Dreamcast. And uh, this, he had uh, ten bucks on this. He had ten bucks on this, and um, the only that the only mad damage is that part right there is missing. Um, and then uh, he has something that I have been needing, that I needed and wanted for a long time. And um, he had uh, a decent price for it, for 20 bucks, which is uh, the jumper cartridge for the Sega Saturn. I've been wanting one of these for a while. And getting this, uh, I guess it will be some sort of an upgrade, this memory card plus. Um, so I asked him how much we want for both. And yeah, he he only wanted the twenty bucks, so he totally hooked me up for that guide and then this this cartridge for twenty bucks. Okay, you guys, that, that's all I picked up. But I um, also wanted to tell you guys that uh, something that I read that was kind of kind of humorous that happened in the event. Uh, if if you guys are Funko Pop collectors, um, that's one of the big things that um, people gravitated to all on um, this event. And um, if I'm not mistaken, people were there several hours before they opened the event on Saturday morning, which it was it was massive. It was like a few hundred people in line waiting to get those Funko Pops. And then, because like, and but before that, um, I had no interest. I had no interest in these Funko Pops. Like I did notice uh, what they were had announced like ahead of time, which ones were going to be av available. But I didn't care for them. But then and again, right away, right after that, um, some of my coworkers were like, you know, can you see if you can pick it up because I can't make it. They really have no interest in in the actual event, just those Funko Pops. So they kind of threw it on me like, you, I'll see, I'll try, see what I can do. So when I arrived, I seen that line. It's like, there's no way I'm going to, you know, just get in line and try to get these Funko Pops. It had to be like at least two hour wait, at least, because it... it it's not that they were that they, um, they were slow at all because they looked like they were flying through you know the the, the their customers there and they're buying it because they pretty much I think it was like like three different Funko Pops that's it like three different Funko Pops that people were picking up on so it was really quick but like I said it was like hundreds of people online wrapped around the the, the building and uh so I didn't even bother. I didn't even was like, oh, should I get in line? Like, there's no way. Just like I told you guys, it's just, it's just no way. I'm not gonna. That's not an option. So, so I let them know. My my coworkers are like, you know, it's just not gonna happen. So he says, cool, don't worry about it. I heard it was really, really, really long before um before the event opened. And then, uh, so I left it at that. As far as the Funko Pops, when I came in the next day on Sunday. <laughs> Which I, I got there a little bit late. I think it was already like like 12 or 11 on Sunday. The line was still up there. It was it's still bad. It was still up there like a, a couple hundred people in line waiting. So it's like, oh, definitely. This is just totally out of the question, even for sec day two. So um, I did my thing, you know, just kind of hang out. And then I was probably buying some of the, those, uh, those items that I did pick up by... 3.30, maybe 4 o'clock, I just happened to be passing by the Funko Pop booth. And then I looked around. There was no line. There was no line, you guys. And all the Funko Pops were still available. So I grabbed, I grabbed and I picked them up. And then I hit up my... I took a picture of it and I sent it to my coworkers. And they were like, probably jumping up and down. Which I'm glad because I think I would have beat myself over, uh, beat myself up for, you know, trying to show up on Saturday morning and trying to get these Funko Pops and be in the line for, you know, this certain amount of hours trying to get those Funko Pops. But I got them and um, I was able to hook up my friends uh, with these Funko Pops, which was no trouble at all to the last couple of hours of the, uh, the event on, on Sunday. So, which was really, really... Um, kind of humorous like you know it's just you know you didn't have to go through all that all that madness and i picked it up but anyways enough of that um also um the hamburger you guys seen on the on the short clip it was it was actually as good as it looked 
even though I've been watching my red meat intake, I've been doing pretty good. But when I seen that um, in the snack bar, I gave in. But anyways, you guys, that was uh, my adventure there. Um, I got to see a lot of my friends that I, some of my friends that I can only see from an events like this because they live kind of far. I got to see um, a few of them that I, I like. I do see uh, like Armando. I see him often. I seen him there, and a few friends here. But there's the, those ones that uh, um, that live far, and I can only see them at these events. And then plus the YouTubers, uh, um, uh, uh, they're really uh, funny and and uh, fun to hang out with. But I, okay, you guys, that's it. That's it for my uh, pickups. My um, impression of this event. Look forward to the next one. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.